Yeah, yeah. Well, Bill, how how do you feel? You know, you you you, you told right, me about I feel I've never told anyone about this. I got to feel bad, but I actually feel pretty good. I think Carl's gonna take me back after this, Doc. Oh. I feel re-energized, and it's all because of you, Doctor Conrader. Oh. I oh. You yeah, Carl's... thanks a lot. You're mm. you're a lifesaver. Okay. All right, see you later. All right. Well, I'll I'll see you again soon. Here's the nine dollars. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't laugh all that was just <laughs> I was dying I was dying I I I broke I think once or twice Did you mute too. a couple times? I didn't yeah, mute. I I did break I the, broke a few I, I bro broke I broke <laughs> quite a few times. <laughs> oh wow girls <laughs> I do <laughs> you're you're so good. <laughs> you're so I, good. That was really. I need to change out of Bill for a second. <laughs> oh, I. Bill is so lovable. I wish I wish I wasn't so mean, but it just sort of. Yeah, just sort of wow, I was into it. really surprised. <laughs> I was like shocked. I was like, whoa, I what love a Bill so much. I wish what I was a nicer turn. <laughs> He's. He's so pathetic. He's like so <laughs> I like, I like after all that, we made, we went nowhere. We, we went nowhere. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, he's like, oh, I'm you, gonna you get cured back me. together. Yeah, it's <laughs> gonna take me back. I'm like, oh man, we were almost at the balls. We, we and then we just went straight back out. We just got, that was we such a good analogy because just. It made no sense. <laughs> no, my I therapist. Was I was dying. I was like, my wait, what? It was a real skill. My therapist, not not the dildo, but oh, my therapist like, would what? tell me, an iceberg was the real analogy from therapy, and yeah. the, the, t the feelings are like the tip of the iceberg, and there's always more feelings underneath layers. But I was like, I, I was about to say iceberg, and then just like, whew, dildo, <laughs> just just came up and then I said I it, it and then it just happened I and I had it. to figure out how to make it work I'm like okay what are the parts of the dildo <laughs> I, you were so you know like something I loved about that whole thing was you just you committed to an idea and you just went for it and I think that's that's so good at improv is just doesn't matter what it is commit to it and <laughs> yeah. I broke so many improv really rules funny. though which is why wait, wait, I, was so wait, what I kept asking you questions I, I was right, as a therapist yeah, no. supposed which to is ask hard questions. because I think there's certain situations like this scenario where it's okay <laughs> uh -huh. because like even though I you're mean, asking you great, a question so. you're kind of I think it's important and I, and I broke some rules too because I think when you do ask a question, I think if it's just frowned upon puts, usually, puts but spot, you yeah. need to at least like offer, you need to give the other person something to work with. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. I felt, I, was... I felt like you did a great job. Like there are some times <laughs> where I was just talking and I don't know if I gave you anything, but <laughs> no, you did you, a good job of being like, everything. wait, yeah, I tried. And I, all, I broke a couple of rules too, because, um, you're not supposed to, like, when you were, like, talking about a dildo, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was it. That was just... No, that was great. No, 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 that was amazing. Like, just, <laughs> like, yeah. That's how you the contrast. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. It was genuine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 